Yo, what's going on everyone? Thank you for stopping by the channel and checking out another Mystery Box Friday. In today's video, we are gonna tap into this $1,000 hype mystery box from Soul Steals, and we're gonna get right into it right after this. <music> All right, guys, so as you guys are watching this video, you're like, bro, dude's head is cut off. I'm so sorry. This whole new setup, it's all new. It's all kind of weird. So, cause for me, I find it really annoying. But anyways, just wanna let you know, I am aware of it and we'll try and work on it. Continue to watch and enjoy the video because there is some good content in here. Let's get back to the video. All right, so if you guys are familiar with the channel, you guys know that this is not our normal background. Like this is something that's new. And if you guys have been following the vlogs, if not, make sure to check them out. But uh, we are opening up a sneaker shop and so it's been great. It's been a whole new journey, but with that new journey comes new backgrounds. So this is kind of like a messy background because we're still in the mix of opening up a shop. Anyways, like I said, today we do have a mystery box of a hype box, meaning there's probably clothes in here, maybe or maybe not shoes. But anyways, I did pay $1,000 plus shipping and tax comes out to $1,125, which is crazy. So we're gonna open it up, see the market value for all of the items in here, and then we're gonna see if, if I'm gonna make a profit on it at the very end of the video. So we're gonna have a counter that's gonna tell us the secondary market value for every single item. And then at the very end, we're gonna go ahead, tally all of that up, see how much profit we're left with, and see if this is a good box or a bad box. Let's go ahead and dig straight into it. Here you go and don't mind my cringing thumbnail face. The very first item I do see is a size medium Supreme t-shirt. So this is a very simple Supreme tee. It is, it just says Supreme across. I don't know, like I know Supreme, but I don't know every single item that comes out. So not very sure about what this one is, but it is a nicer shirt. It's one of, it's not their basic, uh, t-shirts like that just have their normal supreme tag like it's one of their nicer ones feels brand new just doesn't have tags on it so we do have this one i'm guessing maybe anywhere between 80 to 100 bucks on that one and then we have this very bright green hoodie and the brand is supreme i'm guessing there's got to be like a s logo or something oh whoa there we go so this is the otlier medini milan supreme hoodie so big graphic on the back with the gun and then in the front it is very plain and basic definitely a harder one to sell just because of the color but i think this whole um this whole box is brand new supreme hypey stuff so this one has the tag it did say 148 dollars in a size medium lime green hoodie we have these shorts in a size 34 but they do look brand new i guess that's something but just some basic striped shorts with the little you know built-in buckle lace type of thing so not bad i mean seems basic all right let's get into some hats and i do see a, a pair of shoes all right so we have a three pack of hats I don't know what kind of hats these are. It says ESP, um, this one's Supreme, 1994, world famous. So this one's kind of cool, all white, very flashy. And then there's this last one, which is also a Supreme hat, but it's like a patent leather brim, which is very interesting. And it has like the leather little backing right here. No other Supreme branding except for in this corner. But like I said, all of these are brand new. Definitely some stuff that's uh, harder to sell, I would think. <laughs> so, and this ESP is also a Supreme hat. Not sure what it stands for. It is slightly dirty for being brand new. Hopefully we could try and clean that, but, but anyways, let's see what else we got here. So we have some stiff, dang. So we have a Zippo lighter right here and it says it's $250 or maybe this is the tag for soul supremacy. I don't know, but I'm trying to open it without ripping it. Ooh, nice. So in here we do have the red Zippo lighter. So this one I'm guessing is pretty good, pretty expensive just because it's the classic red and the seal is still on the back. So that's how you know it's still brand new. So it's very cool to see this one. 
is probably one of the better things in the box for sure, just because that's what people love, you know, Supreme, seeing the Supreme logo on stuff. Like nobody wants a blank Supreme tee unless if like it's cheap, you know, like that's just, I don't know, I'm just keeping it real. That's, that's how I see things. And then we also have these, I think this is the anti-hero, yeah, anti-hero uh, pants. So these are brand new white size 32 and they are the work pants. So, you know, pretty much just like a basic type of chino. I mean, the materials on it do feel better than like if you're just trying to buy like a, a Dickies brand work pant or whatever. So definitely not bad. And it's cool that it has the little uh, anti-hero, you know, thing right on the pant leg. So it kind of gives off like a skater ish vibe so there's there's a little bit hype to that so people when you wear it people will know what you're wearing we also have a pair of yellow bright yellow supreme shorts so some basic shorts right here size 30 these retail for hundred and ten dollars brand new basic thing like all you really have is like this little tab right here in the back nothing too crazy with that one so the last clothing item is right here so we have oh nice so this is what i wanted like this is what i was hoping for was like some supreme tees so we have some supreme tees this one is a size large it looks like it's from it almost looks like it's from a movie or something it almost looks like dracula i don't know i need to look this one up but very basic supreme tee just you know a graphic that stuff i want in the store is more like if I were to carry a Supreme tee, like I would just want like basic Supreme tees like this where, you know, they don't go for much because I think people around my area aren't going to spend $500 on a box logo. I think more so these just t-shirts are going to be a little bit better. So this one's another cool one. It says greetings from Supreme in it's like a neon green writing and gray is also a good color size medium brand new with the tags right there. So I, I like this one too not bad not bad i am scared that i'm gonna like this t-shirt because i already like it it's like a brown and it says supreme right here right there and then if you guys know the shirts then you know what's on the back which is an et shirt so this is super sick i mean for any of you guys who like et i'm guessing the shirt is worth more money just because of that the back graphic so Supreme ET size large. I feel like I could wear it. This is from like an older, um, this is like, I think when, before they switched over to their new sizing for the t-shirts, like this is like the old, older sizing. So it's, it's going to fit a little bit smaller than, cause I, like size large now it's, it's like a loose fit, you know, but this one's like a little bit more standard of a fit. And the very last thing we have is a humongous box, like humongous shoe box. Oh my gosh, like look how big this thing is, dude. So we have a Nike box size. It's only a size 12. That's crazy. Size 12. It says it's a Air Presto Mid. And there we go. So we do have some Prestos in a size 12. They are brand new acronym Prestos. So this came, I think this was the second edition that they came out with so there was like the first batch with which honestly those colors were super cool and then they came out with this one which you know came along with another volt and pink and like a, i forgot what the other colorway was but i think this was one of the three and this one's not bad so very basic if you guys like you know Prest prestos are super super comfy and then plus the brand of acronym if you guys are into tech wear and stuff like that then people typically like these especially because of these little like it's got some tech wear on the back like some of these zippers on both sides and then just like the added features of these like synthetic overlays and whatever you want to call it but i'm pretty sure this one goes for not like a, a lot of money but a decent amount of money especially being dead stock you know so that's pretty much it for the box that's everything so we're gonna go ahead and tally all of it up right over here. It's been counting for us. Let's total everything up and the total secondary market value is gonna be right here. Now we spent $1,125, so we gotta subtract that and then we're left with our grand total profit, which should be around this price. I don't know what it is because I don't do all of this like in time and I don't know all the markets for all of it, but overall, 
I'm like mixed feelings about it. I feel like I've been getting so many mixed feelings with Soul Supremacy and Soul Steel boxes. Like I'm guessing the profit range is really good, right? Like that's just how it is. But the the movability of some of these items is probably going to be pretty tough. And like the type of items, like so this one, ha like the Supreme Tees were all pretty cool. Pretty much it. That and the Zippo lighter. The Zippo lighter was sick. And the Prestos, I don't mind shoes. Like I love shoes, especially when they're dead stock. Makes it easy on me. But like Supreme shorts. We got three pairs of Supreme shorts and all of the hats. I feel like all of those are going to be, you know, a little bit harder to move. So I'll probably have to sell them for under market value just to kind of get them out there and get them quick, quickly gone. So all that being said, that's pretty much all we got for this video. I am mixed feelings about it. I am glad that we got some Supreme tees for the shop, but I'm also not happy that I spent, you know, $1,125 on all of this stuff that might be a little bit more work for me to move. So, all right guys, so as you're seeing this, you're like, bro, like that box is not worth it. Uh, so I actually contacted Soul Steels because I was a little curious about it. And I was asking a couple people, a couple other beater box members too. And I was like, yo, am I really making money on this or is this a bad box? And so some people were like, yeah, like you'll get about 1200 bucks and you know, spending 1125. Cause technically it's a $1,000 box. So if it's $1,200 of value, that's still 20%. But of course, all the extra charges, it sucks. But they offered to give me $200 back as a refund if that made me feel good about the box, which it makes me feel way better about the box. So um, taking $200 off, I'm really a little bit under $1,000 for it. So just kind of want to give you guys that heads up of what's happening with it, just because I know that it just seems like it's a, a trash box. We'll kind of cut, we'll cut back to the video right now. It is what it is. I hope you guys are enjoying your Friday and enjoying this video and just have a really good day. Stay blessed, stay, you know, stay hungry for the grind and we'll catch you guys on next week's episode. Peace.